Hello, my name is Rajendra Jangit and in this session I can teach you that no one can teach you. Okay, so just keep watching this video. So if uh, uh, suppose uh, I get this problem when I am making a game which is a guess number and index what happened actually we have to put a lots of uh, functions in there we can put a variable and and in every situations we can put the different uh, variable uh, initialize we initialize the different different value in every uh, in every steps suppose if this con if this is uh, happening like this then what will be this suppose this number is zero of player one then uh, player two is also zero if number of player one is uh, 25 and player two is 24 so this type of uh, the value we can change uh, uh, dynamically so what happened uh, suppose uh, suppose let i am creating a function expression uh, it is const and here I am writing value and we can create a function and in this function let uh, suppose here I am writing let's give the variable because in JavaScript the let where and const are scoped up so that's why let uh, gives the variable let uh, declare the variable let raj and uh, one more nidin okay so here i am calling this variable and initialize it value so here i am writing raj is equals to like uh, my full name rajendra anger and here i am writing Nitin is equals to Nitin Chorasia. Okay, so now what I can do is that suppose if I have to call this Raj, suppose here I am writing console.log Raj. Now, guess what will be the output? Actually, it's very tricky, but it is important when, I had, when we are doing programming in javascript so just guess for a second and the answer now see what's the answer is go into the buoy and the answer is undefined because we cannot define this value but we have defined it it's go in the obscure but we cannot define it value uh, and here we have to call this function if i call this function then let's see what will be the output here i am writing i am calling this function which is value and now guess what will be the output i bet you that no one can teach this no, it is this word, it is not Bluetooth. Okay, so now the output is if I not call this, then the output is undefined. If I call this, then the output is so. What happened in this? Uh, with uh, this type of situation, we basically uh, when there is a very when we are creating a game in that we are passing that suppose the current value is 0 then the player 1 the current value is then we put now then current value is, is equals to current value uh, plus whatever is the value we have to show we have to add it like that then player 2 what will be the value so uh, in every situation means uh, javascript when we are using javascript the javascript tell us do not repeat your code it's do not repeat your principle okay so when we are declaring the function suppose the, this type of function when we are creating and now i am telling that uh, suppose here i am writing 
sum is equals to zero. Okay. So afterwards I can write here sum is equals to twenty. Then I write here sum. Then we will get the output is twenty. Basically, it's not a zero. And in function, suppose I am creating one more function, and in that function I have to call. This. Suppose here I let's create one more function. No, let's create a not object. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's create on. Let's create one more function expression, and here I am writing is the name of that function, which is value init initialize init is equals to function, and in that I am passing the value. Here, what we will do is that suppose here I have to call this function. Okay, then we will see what will be the output. Here I am calling this function value, and now I am writing console dot log sum. Now let's see what will be the output. Here the output. Just put this sum, copy, and paste okay, like this. Sum is equal to zero. You cannot initialize it. Sum. That's why we will get the answer twenty. Now let's see what will be the output. Mm -hmm. Just comment it. We cannot get the output because we cannot call this function. Hmm. Now let's see what will be the output. Yeah, the output is zero. Suppose here I am writing sum is equals to like twenty. Then only we will get the output zero. Because it's call this function, and when I call it here, when I call this, then we will get the output is twenty and then zero. Yeah, twenty and zero. So this is very important when we are creating a lots of valuable uh, value. Suppose when we are creating a game, and when there is an option that we have to uh, start a new game. Then, when we are starting a new game, whatever the our current value is, suppose uh, my current value of a is forty five and b is twenty six. So here I am passing a is equal to twenty five and b is equal to twenty five. So in the new event, I add an event listener and in that I just uh, pass this uh, function name. So when I just pass it, I will got everything whatever I have declared, not that that I declared on the outside. So outside we can uh, uh, change the any value. So it lets is basically when we are writing uh, uh, let raj raj is equals to twenty five and then let raj is equals to twenty five then it will throw us an error. So uh, when we declare the variable name of the variable let then we cannot repeat that if we want to declare the same name same declaration. So so that's why this is very important when we are working on a real project or uh, just understand this type of concept i guess you will uh, get a bug because in javascript is basically tell that do not repeat your self principle just remember this thing whenever the code is repeating then we just have to put it in a function and just call that function Not write again and again and again uh, again line of code. If here I have to write, suppose I have declared one function. If one more time I have to write, then one more time I am writing a Raj is equal to Rajendra, Nitin is equal to this. Uh, let's uh, let's see what's the value of Raj. 
and Nithim. Then only we will get the output whatever we have written over here. And if here I am writing Nithim is equals to or whatever the state is and then I am writing Rajendra R J E N D R A Rajendra is equals to whatever the we have to write and then just call this three function which is Nitin and Rajendra and now let's see what will be the output here the output output will be same, but here the output will be not same. If uh, suppose if I have not invoked this function, hmm, suppose here is nothing. Let guess that here is nothing, and now I am writing here console dot log, which is Raj. Oh, uh, huh. I don't think so we will get the output yeah it's undefined basically this zero is coming from I guess here the sum is zero then Rajendra yeah it is undefined we will get this undefined because we have not called this function so so here we have to call this like a value and then only if i write the console.log then only we will get the output so this is very 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 important topic not an important topic this is just a way that how we call the variables in function but this is very important you have to learn this if you understand this concept then it will be great when you are working in a real project and uh, we have not a uh, report uh, means we don't have to reuse of code we do not write the code again and again and again so just do not repeat yourself principle so that's it thanks for i hope you understand this thanks for watching this video